Vaporum is a grid-based dungeon crawler RPG with a steampunk theme, created and published by Fatbot Games and released on Steam September 28th of 2017. The game takes place in a large tower called the Arx Vaporum, where you take control of a man who's lost his memories. As you play through the game, you will learn about the tower as you pick up the notes and recordings of those who resided there. Another great success. Today, the local coordinator for the Bureau and Chief Officer of the Arx, Marcus Reich, appointed me Deputy Foreman of Manufacturing. As for the gameplay, I mentioned previously that the game was grid-based. You will use WASND to move from tile to tile, and you'll press Q and E to turn your body left and right. You may also look around freely by holding the middle mouse button. At the start of the game, you'll be able to pick from four different rigs, Combat, Heavy, Assault, and Thalma. These rigs will also give you bonuses. Beyond that, we have the talents that you obtain with each level known as circuit points. You can increase your damage on a certain weapon, such as blunt weapons, blades, handguns, and rifles, or you can increase the efficiency of your gadget usage, which is how you use the magic. Remember, whatever you go with, it has your choice and it's permanent. So be mindful of that, because I wasn't at the start. In my run of the game, I chose the combat rig. I had no idea how I wanted to build my character. However, I did notice that you can do wield, and that's my shit. So I specced into that, and I sort of flopped around and picked whatever sounded cool. This meant my early game was, uh... Fun. But if there was one thing I did right, it was getting this certain passive that let me get away with this shit. I don't want to spoil you too much with my experience, as I want you to have your own. But I do want to give a shout out to the time stop feature. The time stop feature was not even part of the game, but was added in April 12th, 2017. Like, and I, I gotta be honest, I, I couldn't picture myself without this, as it was very integral to my gameplay. On top of the fighting, this game has enough puzzles and exploration to go around. Now I'm talking about these two together because without exploring and observing what's around you, small details, you won't be able to solve specific puzzles and find some secrets. The game doesn't always put you in a room and say, solve me. Oh, I mean, sometimes you'll have to really think about what you've been doing the whole time, but it just may not click until 45 minutes in of walking around, you realize, oh, I was supposed to do that? And before you say, why Korthos, uh, that scenario sounds a little bit too specific. Did this ever happen to you? It's none of your fucking business. So let's instead talk about the possible cons. Vaporum does not hold your hand and tell you whether or not you're missing something. If you are forgetting something or you just don't know where to go next, you might have to recheck every nook and cranny that you came across. Oh jeez, that's a lot of nook and crannies. This game also doesn't have a Steam Workshop, unlike the other game in its genre, Legend of Grimrock, and its sequel. So if you're used to Grimrock's user-generated content, well, you're out of luck here, as far as I know. So with all that being said, so you wanna play Vaporum? Ultimately, that choice is yours. If you're interested in the game, it is 1999. But that's it from me. See you in the next one.